Hi guys, I think um, we have stopped on on this render, and that th that's the result we are getting. So, but I, I'm not very happy with the quality of our the quality of our shadows, and I'm not happy with the the sky here. It's m very dark, and we are using very high settings what I think uh, that is happening is as I had too much uh, glitches and issues with the recording before um, this the settings here in our options is it's really a mess so we are going to set up everything from the beginning for that we are going to restore default settings okay now we are using the default settings and let's start again to work with that let's choose max depth of 2 low treat priority just uncheck our batch render and our default lights okay and if you render now it will be almost everything dark because we still have uh, a little light here from our global illumination let's apply here our sky and 1.2 of intensity let's apply that and then let's use something about uh, 2 in our background and let's go back to our skylight here and choose the size multiplier of 2 and the shadow subdivision to something about 16 or even more let's choose something um, I don't know 20 okay let's try that and let's go to our image sample and let's choose adaptive DMC let's Set, uh, stay with the default settings for now um, go to our color mapping and choose exponential I like that and in our glow interact illumination choose light cache for secondary engine and let's make a render just to see if we are getting more uh, light image here here we are I think oh my god over bright Be why is that happening because we didn't use the physical camera okay so let's try that again And there you are just with some little points we can see it's much more bright than this one here okay as you can see here so let's continue here and I'm going to um, texture this little guy here let's go to file import and make sure that you are using use as texture and let's search for something nice mm. I'm searching here for some dirty oh I, I think we can use both I will try this one here don't worry with the the door because we are not going to see that right click and position position and then just pick it up and paint everything pick it up and paint the interior and the top we are going just to right click and texture position let's just increase the size 
of this texture very much and more excuse me please I think that's the the first word I've I've learned excuse me please and that's it okay just rotate some a little bit the others just to I think I've, I have already done that okay just to seem uh, just to to seems that it's not the same texture okay rotate a little bit and try to uh, change the view and for the ground we are going just to use one color so to pick it up uh, nice green color I prefer to use something desaturated okay and you can play with the colors I, I like something desaturated to work okay and then I will as I said I've turned off my displacement map I think I didn't say that so let's turn off our displacement just for now okay I will try to um, make something here that will help me to render okay the first thing I'm going to do is go to my irradiance map I will use higher settings just like minus 3 on min rate and max rate 0 okay I will increase even more the samples because I will try to make my final render here to something about um, I don't know 50 let's, let's just stay with that those settings we don't need 1000 subdivisions because uh, it it won't uh, uh, get give us better quality images on this size of render so we're just going to use 700 a number of phase one okay go to our uh, output and let's just increase our size to see better and work more let's try 800 and go to our irradiance map here again and let's auto save our irradiance map let's browse here and put on our my documents here I will call tutorial and save and go to our light cache as well and auto save here and browse and say tutorial and save then I will go to my global suites here and say don't render the final image okay and then let's render it very nice when this is done mm, I forgot to put some shadows here but I will try to do that on Photoshop okay so it took 18 minutes and now we can go to our options here and uncheck don't render final render go to a irradiance map and from file choose your file that you have already created turn off the auto save do the same with the light cache tutorial open and turn off this one here as well let's go back to our material options and we can now turn on our displacement map let's increase the multiplier here to something about 4 and then you can render your final image and this is the final render we 
need to fix the displacement I won't do that I have already done to you the displacement is not working you can see by the edges here and we will trade this image on Photoshop so I will save it as um, TGA or um, I will save uh, as TIFF final and let me see here my the displacement is not working but I have already show you how to fix it okay so that's it and let's go